In this video, I'm going to discuss the properties of parallel lines and planes. First, I'll discuss the properties of lines, parallel lines, which is two-dimensional space. Then I'll discuss properties of parallel planes, which is three-dimensional space. Up first is properties of parallel lines. I'll draw in a blue line and a perpendicular red line. These lines are 90 degrees of each other, hence the square. If I added up all four squares, this would add to 360. Again, all four of these angles add up to 360 like a circle. Keep the circle in mind. If I rotate the red line, you'll see that this angle is equal to the opposite angle. Just like this angle is equal to this angle. As I mentioned before, all four of these angles would add up to 360 degrees. It doesn't matter how I rotate the red line, the opposite angles always equal each other and add up to 360 degrees. One last example before I add in parallel lines. Let me zoom out a little bit and extend my lines. If I create a line that's parallel to the red line, this angle is equal to this angle, which are equal to the opposite angles. Like before, these angles are equal to each other, which are equal to the opposite angles. Let me zoom out a little bit and I'm going to draw in a parallel blue line. This angle is equal to this angle, to its opposite angle, and back to the beginning. So all of these angles are equal to each other. The same is true with these angles. They're all equal to each other. In the end, there's only two angles, the green angles and the purple angles. Now the same discussion, but in a three-dimensional space, which is much more interesting in my opinion. Now imagine I draw a plane, a blue plane and a red plane that are perpendicular to each other. and I'll draw in a couple squares and project them back in a three-dimensional space. If I rotate this, you'll see that it's just squares, right? Two perpendicular planes. This angle here, I'll draw as a green wedge, and then I'll project that back all the way down the planes. That angle is consistent. And like before, it's equal to its opposite angle. Now I'll draw a the purple angle or the wedge, and its angle is consistent all the way down the planes, and its opposite angle is the same as well. Now let me draw in a parallel red plane. Rotate a little bit. These two angles are the same, as well as the opposite angle is the same. Again, the purple angles are the same. as well as the opposite angles. 
I'm going to rotate this around so you can see in a three-dimensional space. Now I'm going to draw a parallel blue plane. If I take that green angle down, it's the same. Its opposite angle is the same. Slide it over, you'll see it's the same as well. There, the opposite angle is the same. The same is true with the purple angle. I'll drop that down. Its opposite angle is equal. Slide it over, and its opposite angle is equal. Let me rotate this around so you can see this in a three-dimensional space. And that should do it. That's just uh, parallel planes and parallel lines in two and three-dimensional space. And I hope this has been helpful.